Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy. On my left, I have the T-Mobile variant. On my right, I have the AT&T variant. How can I know that? Let's go to settings and we're going to go to about the phone software information. Here you can see the service provider software version and here it says TMB, TMB and this one is AT&T, AT&T. Now look at this Android security patch September 1st, 2021 and this one is November 1st, 2024. On the T-Mobile variant we have Android version 12 and on the AT&T variant we have Android version 11. One UI 4.1, one UI 3.1. So we need to update this phone. Now let's see what happened when we click click software update check for updates your software is up to date this is what we should see guys your software is up to date that security patch november 1st 2024 and we already saw that we are running android 12 okay android 12. now this one it says software update interrupt no update is available for your device at this time please try again in 24 hours what we are going to do is we are going to connect the device to a pc and this pc i already have a smart switch so let's open the smart switch smart switch is a free app from samsung and we're going to connect our samsung device to the computer usb-c to usb-c all right let's see let's see what happened Okay, you heard that. Now it's charging. It says USB file transfer is now allowed. Allow access to phone data, allowed. Download the Smart Switch app on the connected device. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go to the Play Store and download that Smart Switch. Smart Switch. Where's the Smart Switch? It's not showing the Smart Switch. Why is not showing smart switch? Because I think this is hidden on the settings. Let's look for it on Chrome smart switch app. So here on the Google Play is showing this one. So let's click on this app. install. This phone is incompatible with this app. If you can download, you can open a smart switch from the device settings menu. But where in settings is that? Accounts and backup, smart switch. Manage accounts, smart switch. Here it is, guys. Smart switch. Bring data from all device or external storage transfer. Let's uh, let's do this one. Uh, here it is, guys. You can select any option. It's going to trigger the download smart switch. So click download. Okay, so here is smart switch. Continue. More. Allow here it says download the smart switch app so in order to trigger the connection i'm gonna unplug it and plug it again you see autoplay now it's reading the galaxy a12 it's getting connected now it's connected samsung galaxy a12 is connected a new software version is available and i'm gonna click update it's just gonna update the android version 11 let's see yeah, five gigs. That's a lot. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to click all confirm. Continue. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now it's doing the software update. All right, guys. So I'll be back. So it looks like we finished. It says software update for Galaxy A12 is complete. The device will now restart. Disconnect and reconnect the cable. We're going to disconnect and reconnect. Click OK. Galaxy A12 is connected. A new software version is available. Update. Android version 12. So hold on one second. Before doing this, what I want to do is I want to see if I already got an update. The update that I got before was this. Android security patch. Now is June 1st, 2022. I remember before it was 2021. But now it's offering me Android version 12. And this is what I wanted to do. So I'm going to click continue. Okay. All confirm. Continue. Click yes. Now it's going to download Android version 12. And now it's going to start downloading. This might take a while. Usually the files are gigs, like five, six, seven gigs. Now we are 1% and I'm going to come back when we finish. Okay, guys, so it looks like we finished. So let's double check this phone. Software information and yeah, Android version 12, One UI version 4.1. The Android security patch is from July 1st, 2022. So this one needs to change. Let's see what happens. If we do OK, and then I'm going to disconnect it and connect it again. 
and that's going to trigger another check to see if we have an update. Samsung Smart Switch uses permissions. I'm going to click allow. Okay, I'm going to click retry. Now it's connecting. And look at this. We do have another update. That's going to be the security patch. It's going to be 5.7 gigabytes. And I'm going to click continue. All confirm. Continue. Yes, it's downloading. It's like 5 gigs. It's going to take a while, guys. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So finally, it finished. So let's check what version we have here. Now we are November 1st, 2024. So I believe this is the latest one, but let's double check, all right? I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna unplug, and plug again the device. Now it's connecting to the device, connecting to the computer, and now we're gonna find out. We're gonna click the three dots, and we're gonna select this one, Smart Switch Information, check for updates. We're going to click software update, smart switch update, latest version is installed, confirm. So that's it guys, we have the latest version available for this device. Yeah, you can see here on the service provider software version, this is the TMB, the T-Mobile one, Android security patch, November 1st, 2024, and this is the AT&T variant, and we are having the same, November 1st, 2024, both with Android 12. I want you to check this though, we're going to click software update and it says your software is up to date on the t-mobile one on the at&t we're still having the software update interrupt but we don't care because now we know that we have the latest android version available for our device all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's the best way you can support what i do and i'll see you in my next video take care bye